Hello everybody and welcome to David Barrow Stadium at the Veneto Club as Bulleen Lions get ready to take on Kingston City in the final game of NPL Victoria for round four. My name is Chris Gleeson and joining me in commentary for the big game tonight is uh, Bo Morris's goalkeeper getting ready for State League One this year. Uh, that is Dean Manier. Welcome back to VFFV Radio. Thank you, Chrissy. It's been a pleasure having you uh, being alongside you tonight. So uh, hopefully looking forward to a good game. And we are underway at Dave Barrow Stadium. Young Atkinson will bring the ball forward. Big job for the, the youngster tonight. Oliver White. Sakazada will switch it out to the left. Alfonso with the overlapping run. Yellow's found him. Chance to get it into the box. Lowry goes oh, and it's yes. broke in. Goal to Kingston. And it's Chris Irwin with, who pokes it home. It was great work by Kingston to move it out to the left-hand side. The cross was fizzed in low. And Vidi Kangas got a foot to it but was unable to keep the ball out of the net. Yeah, fantastic ball by... Uh, Faisal Sakazada to find the ball out wide and then Erhan the flick in Alonso, but that is such a dangerous ball. One on one with Alfonso, looks to go inside and flick it on the outside. Yalas read the ball well, cuts it out. And he can play the ball forward. But Templin got back first in, and he will pick the ball up. Arcona's turned out of trouble and now Kingston got the ball and now got a bit of run. He'll go forward, he's got the chance to play the ball to White. White is onside, Oliver White, 2 oh. nil Kingston! Oliver White comes back to haunt his former club. And Oliver White makes it two, and only 13 minute play. And it's Kingston two, pulling nil. Yeah, fantastic play by Damien Iconis to drive in, and then a fantastic little reverse ball in behind Oliver White. And all credit to Oliver White, opened up his body and put it into the right hand side um, near the post. And Vidi Kangas had no chance. And Kingston at the moment are looking like the more dominant side. And at the moment, if it keeps going like this, we could have a cricket score on our hands. Allowing Kingston players to run in front of him. Yeah, very much the Dougal like. Uh, sticks out the, uh, the backside and uh, just holds it up looking for a foul or a uh, great ball. Crowley, Crowley one on one. Crowley looks to turn, pokes it out. Surely a goal now to Templin. And Templin gets one back to Bulleen. The ball was clipped forward for Crowley. He fought over it. The ball deflected back to him. He had the awareness to poke it over to. Templin and Templin just taps into the empty net. Yeah, poor defending by Kingston to be honest, but I think that's the inexperience that did much playing enough and also Jack Atkinson. But look, it's Bulleen's first chance on goal and they scored, so I think there's been a total of uh, three shots on goal, or four shots on goal this afternoon, and we've had three goals. So Obradovich, who's been playing in central midfield, it's been a problem for Bulleen over oh, the last couple of years. The crossfield ball, ball is excellent, and here's a chance for Gallo. He's inside the box. Looks to go inside and get his shot away. Oh. Kennedy with a fingertip save. save. He would have seen that late because the Kingston player was in front of him. Yeah. Bullen in a flash and a half of last season at South Springvale, I believe, and back into the NPL. And here's a chance for Templin. The flag will stay down. He's inside the box as well. As Kingston switch off, goes to inside, goes over, no penalty given. Yeah, great ball. So now they can move forward again through Templin. Tackle from behind by White wins the ball back. Sakazada to Iconis on the right. He's got a chance to run at Mullet and play the ball into the back post. Sewell cut it out, but only as far as White. It's Ooh. deflected off the bar. And it's Volgaris picks the ball up. I mean, in fact, Vitakangas. Volgaris cuts inside and over the oh. top. And an onside run from Crowley. Gets to chest it, turns back again. Looking for support. He finds that in Templin. Outside the box, and he gets his shot away. Fantastic and Kennedy with another save. excellent save. He had to go low to his right-hand side. Another strong hand from Kennedy puts it away from the goal. Will then get a corner. Littmer's out of position, so Yalis can bring the ball forward and go for a cross to the back post. Iconis is the target. Falls for White with a volley Ooh. straight at Fiddy Kangas. has managed to clear it away. Kingston with Sulemanowski still in possession. Irwin around the corner, Iconis, Irwin picks it up again, gets towards the edge of the box, cuts the ball back, and the oh. shot is fired over the top of the gang to bring the ball forward. Some Kingston players around him, decides to feed, and that's a great ball, finds his man, and the shot is right at the keeper from Iconis, and Vitakangas gets it out. Also pretty well known to South Melbourne fans, he, with his couple of penalty 
long throw now. Sulmanowski in the box, though, for Kingston City. To go back to Yallas. Well, he clipped the ball. He goes himself, and Vitikangas punches it away. White now. Arconis back on the pitch. Richardson to bring it forward. Now it's a chance for Gallo. Can he get a shot away? Gallo straight at Cole Kennedy. Not the power all the direction of well, just Recruited well. And well fantastic ball by Arconis with a great opportunity. Pokes it for White. White to shoot. Vitikangas does well. Stays in play and he gets to the rebound. And I thought Iconis was going to another excellent game by the Portuguese left back. Now Irwin moves the ball forward into the final third. He gets a bit of room. He can get the shot away. Chris Irwin, it's wide of the post. Yeah, and then playing Chris Irwin, who just ran like a That's horse. a great ball by Bennett. Now it's Iconis, edge of the box. Can he get a shot away? He's got a man on the overlap. It's Chris Irwin oh. near post. And Vitikangas got down low and made the save. Fantastic save by Shane Vitikangas down low to his right. How many grounds do have a PA system? So uh, full credit to the Blue Lane Lions. Gallo from long range, it wasn't too far away. Vitikangas, it's a good pass, it'll find Teflin. Crowell is the only one in the box, looked to cut inside. It was well read by Tidmarsh, who's having another excellent game. Ooh. And a bit of push and shove between the two players. And Templin now goes over as Cole Kennedy wanted to pick the ball up. Trinity Crowley was peeling off to the back post who wanted the early cross in from Templin. Decided to cut back inside. A red card goes out to Titmarsh. So the referee has given a, a red card to Titmarsh to bring it up. Lutma goes long and into Arden who blocks it. Throw has to go short. Referee blow, puts, blows the whistle. It's full time here at the Veneto Club where Kingston City hold on and they get the win with the 10 men at the end. It is Kingston City 2, the win.